So everybody has skipped beats, whether it's the top or the bottom part of the heart. No one is regular 24 seven. The arrhythmias uh, can occur anywhere in the heart and where they occur is very important because they carry different prognostic um, factors. So the top part of the heart has uh, arrhythmias, most common of which is atrial fibrillation. Usually not life-threatening, but has consequences, the worst of which is, is stroke. The bottom part uh, has some arrhythmias. The most significant one is ventricular fibrillation, which is the cause of sudden cardiac death, which is the number one cause of death in this country. It almost outweighs all cancers combined. The most common cause is any type of instance that will increase adrenaline levels, per se. So whether it's emotional, physical, food, or otherwise. The most significant one is patients who have heart disease. Patients have had heart attack, they have scars. The scar uh, in the bottom part of the heart, in the ventricle, is the area where arrhythmias arise. Those are the most significant ones because those put our patients at risk for sudden death. So if the patient is having symptoms consistent with arrhythmias, i.e. palpitations, we will monitor the patient. Uh, we will start off with uh, some, some general monitoring where we monitor them for anywhere from three to 14 days, and then we examine the monitor to see what it shows. A lot of times we find things inadvertently. So the patient is here for other cardiac testing and the staff notices that there are rhythm problems. And even though the patient may not be feeling it, we get to see it. And then we have to determine whether or not it's significant and we have to treat it.